Harish Kalipeli, Commodities uh, Head and Currency Head as well at JRG Securities joins in on the show. Harish, hi. First, let's start off with your view on gold. We've seen a very sharp uh, run-up in gold prices yesterday, uh, in, especially in the evening session, but uh, I think... Uh, uh, now, uh, after a small uh, corrective trade, market is likely to uh, continue its upward movement uh, today's session as well. Uh, as far as fundamentals are concerned, I think uh, uh, the weakness in dollar is something uh, which is supporting the uh, gold prices. At the same time, uh, the expectation of uh, further stimulus from uh, Fed is also supporting uh, riskier asset classes like commodities on the whole and uh, uh, equities and other segments as well. If you if you look at uh, uh, level specifically, we uh, we are recommending to buy uh, gold on 28,700 levels with a stop loss below 28,600, and uh, the targets uh, for the day could be around 28,850 initially. As a woke clear, uh, if if market is reaching that level, then I think we should look at around 29,000 levels as well. Harish, uh, what about crude? What levels would you watch out for on crude, and would you be bullish on uh, crude as well? Yesterday we've seen uh, a positive bias in crude prices and uh, I think uh, though, though uh, short-term dynamics are uh, slightly changing with uh, Iran agreeing for the talks on nuclear uh, program and uh, uh, and also uh, Saudi Arabian, uh, Arabia hinting uh, uh, of uh, higher supplies from, the, the, from their side. Uh, however, I think you know the broad undertone uh, remains uh, positive, uh, the, especially on the back of uh, weaker uh, weaker dollar. So we are we are recommending to stay long on uh, crude oil as well. Uh, I think uh, any dip towards 5,290 to 5,300 uh, would give us an opportunity to enter with long positions. Upside, we are looking around 5,340 to uh, 5,350 levels, and uh, one can maintain stops below 5,275. Harish, what about your view on base metals, in particular copper? Base metals uh, complex, if you see, I think uh, copper uh, and other base metals are likely to uh, uh, continue the upward movement which we have seen yesterday. Uh, however, the, uh, the the sentiment is likely to be uh, uh, similar to the you know the undertone is likely to be sideways. And uh, if you if you look at specifically copper, I think uh, between uh, market is likely to trade between 418 on lower side and 424 on higher side. On fundamental front also, I think uh, today's uh, the Chinese GDP data is somewhat uh, concerning and that might weigh on the prices. Uh, however, uh, uh, positive views from uh, US and uh, other uh, even European countries and yesterday uh, uh, the slowly changing economic sentiment might also support uh, uh, base metals. So overall we are uh, recommending to be on uh, long side uh, uh, base metal front and uh, for, uh, we recommend buying around 418.5 with a stop loss below 416 and uh, your target should be anything between 420 to 24 levels. Harish, you seem to be bullish on uh, every commodity. What about soya? Are you bullish on that one as well? Yesterday we have seen a very uh, sharp uh, rally in uh, soybean prices and uh, seabot and the same thing has been uh, witnessing in uh, the domestic markets as well. I think the uh, entire soya complex is likely to extend its uh, gains of uh, tracking solid uh, demand expectations from China and other uh, major consuming countries and also there are concerns related to Latin American crops. So overall uh, we, we are looking at uh, soybean uh, around 3,350 levels in near term. So any any dip from these levels uh, uh, towards 3,280 or so would definitely give us an opportunity to enter uh, with long positions and one can maintain stops below 3,250 levels or so.